Favorite coral number three, number three. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday, TGIFF. Today we're going to be talking about my five favorite corals in my reef tank. It's pretty crazy that I have not done this video yet. Uh, I, I thought I had, but apparently I haven't. Reef of is coming up, so hopefully I get some new pieces that really go up there on the charts. Before we get into this video, I want you guys all to know that September 24, 2022, I am putting on an aquatic expo. It's official. Skelly Fest, the ultimate aquatic expo, is coming to Miami, South Florida, Miami specifically. And uh, yeah, if you guys are local, I hope you guys will be out there. Uh, I'll obviously be out there, so come say what's up. There's gonna be coral booths, there's gonna be maybe fish booths, maybe some of those cool ocean uh, resin people, you know, the ones that make like super dope, like stuff to hang on the walls and stuff. Gonna be super fun. I'm gonna try to get some challenges going, maybe some aquascapes or some other things. Definitely gonna have some workshops, you know, learn how to aquascape potentially, some presentations. It's gonna be an all around fun day. I am super excited about it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really hope that you guys come come out so right now save the date skelly fest september 24 2022 okay the tank you guys are lucky because i just did a water change like three ish four days ago so things aren't looking too bad we have a little bit of cyano on the floor after the water jeez i'm below this line for sand that's really bad i'm gonna have to be adding sand pretty soon i guess um so one major thing is that i have not seen the diamond goby homie since i put him in here I unfortunately don't think he made it. I, I don't know, he came in here and then that's it. I haven't seen him since. I haven't really seen any of the floor like doing anything crazy in terms of cleaning. I haven't seen like sand piles piling up. So that's the reason that I'm thinking that he did not make it. I don't see him anywhere. I tried to look like at night in the, cav in the, like, in the cavities that are hard to see, like shining a flashlight and stuff and no luck, unfortunately. So I'll give it a little bit longer, and if I still see like the sand bed untouched and stuff, I might try one more time with one more diamond goby. I'm not sure what might have happened. Maybe he pissed off Mr. Grumpy down there. Anyway, yeah, so this is the tank. It's looking good. Uh, I'm definitely hoping that for Reef of Palooza, I can finally get something to put up in that corner a little bit. Check out the green slimer. It's doing exactly what I was hoping for and just branching out like a super dope little thing like that's gonna be so sick across the tank i do plan to get a scully hopefully if i could find one affordable you know like i definitely don't want to spend more than 150 so i don't even know if that's possible as it is 150 is a lot for me um but yeah i've been wanting it for a while so screw it we're gonna do it for the channel but i just don't know where i'm gonna put it like i don't want this to sting it if i put it here and then if i put it there it's, i don't know I don't know what to do, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think this would be more enjoyable if we feed the fish, frozen mysis maybe. Go get your stickers too, shoplater.com. I'll drop the link down below. I dropped the lights in blue because we all know that coral are so much funner to look at when you got some orange sunglasses on. Also, the uh, food is up here defrosting. That's the mysis that we bought at Beverly's like a couple couple episodes ago. Look who it is. Our boy Quincy's out to eat. Wow, look at these fish. Holy moly. Guys, guys, take it easy, okay? Leave some for your brothers and sisters. You are hungry right now. This is so hard. I'm like super freaking indecisive. All right, but I think my favorite coral in the tank right now, oh, this is so difficult. I think I'm going to have to go I'm torn between these two. I, I think I'm gonna go with the Duncan, to be honest. That thing is massive right now, and I think the reason I like it so much is because it has that flow to it, which makes it that much cooler. It's got the bright color of the center, uh, like kind of around the mouths, and then it also flows. Ha, <laughs> look at freaking Quincy in the back. Plus, the clownfish going in it is even better. Like, super, super dope. 
Um, also, another thing, these clownfish never used to go inside of the Duncan until I trained them, you know? Fish trainer over here. All right, so that's number one. Well, number two obviously is gonna have to be the one that was battling for it. That guy right there, which I'm pretty sure is called the Jingle Bell. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it's called the Jingle Bell or something. It's lost a lot of the orange. It looks like it's starting to get some of it back in the shadow over here. You can see the orange in the shadow a little bit more from this top view. It was slow to grow at first, but now it hit like a grow spurt and it just has not stopped. So number two. Oh no, that was number two. So now we need number three. Woof. What are we going to do here, guys? What are we going to do? Favorite coral number three, number three. This is harder than I expected. Definitely not any of those. Oof, is it gonna be the jack-o'-lantern? Or, uh, oh! I think this guy's gonna be my favorite coral number three. He's actually tipped over right now. But yes, the, I think it's called the raptor favia. Again, could be wrong but I think that's what it is. The Raptor Favia has got that bright, bright purple, and then it's got the green around the, around the eyes. He is super cool looking, and I got him with a freaking ton of heads. I'm also thinking about getting like the disc plate things. Uh, somebody recommended it a little while ago, and it actually, whoops. I think I'm gonna try that because like this keeps happening to me where they tip over into the sand, and then I have to constantly be fixing them, which, I can't stand doing, so if I just chop off the base and glue it to a a, uh, a disc, that might solve our problems. It, granted, it takes up a bigger, a bigger space on the sand bed, but they also have something to grow into, which is good. What, what do you guys do? do you, are you just the stick the plug in the sand kind of people, or do you go more for the put them on a disc and drop them in the sand? Let me know. Let's just cut to the chase here. I need to save a little bit for our little guy, Finn. Such happy fish. Two more. Oh, by the way, I think I already showed you guys that this mushroom split, but look how big they got so fast. Crazy, right? That happened literally like overnight. Um, and these are doing good too. Oh my goodness, I gotta get that off. I gotta get that off ASAP. Dang it. Hey, can I put these two together? Or will, like, can I put the green mushroom and the red mushroom? next to each other or will they sting each other? I honestly think that's how I originally set them up and the green mushroom moved by itself like over here, to be honest with you, but I don't remember. But yeah, can I put, I know that, I'm pretty sure that that mushroom will sting the Recordia, which is probably why the Recordia hasn't grown like at all. Uh, but yeah, can I put the green, uh, what is it called, the Redactus? The green Redactus and the red Redactus next to each other? Oof, this is another cool one too. I don't know the name though. But no, I'm not gonna say that's my favorite, although the colors are super duper sick. <sighs> Look at the war coral. <laughs> that thing's taking over. Looks like they figured out their way here. It's kind of growing around it. That's cool. Whoa. My power just went out. What in the world? Well, my reef link isn't connecting now, so it looks like we're gonna do the rest of the video like this. All right, anyway, so we got one, two, three, I don't think I said four. Uh, for number four, I think I'm gonna have to go with, dun dun dun, number four. Oh, I really like these blastos down here. Do I want that or do I want this? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go, <sighs> bam bams or scrambled eggs. I'm gonna go with number four being the bam bams. My fifth and final favorite coil in the tank right now. Ah, uh, I think I'm just gonna have to go with the jack-o'-lantern. Although, you can't see it right now. Here's some pieces of it over here. They're really dope, like orange mixed with bright orange. And then they have like little green, greenish yellow eyes. Down there, you can see a little piece a little better. That was the piece that I was growing out and breaking off as frags. That has gotta be my top five favorite corals in my reef tank right now. I'm curious, what is your favorite coral in my reef tank right now? I know I don't have a bunch of like high-end stuff, but out of what I do have, what is your favorite piece? I wanna know, drop a comment, let me know. Remember, September 24th, 2022 in Miami, Florida, Skelly Fest is going down, the Ultimate Aquatic Expo. I'm hosting it, super excited. There's gonna be a ton of vendors there, corals, 
fun, fun time. I hope to see you guys out there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.